too delicious. Why, good morning, sugar pie. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, yes, first off, I ain't saying shit till I caffeinate. Observe, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Ooh, that's no shit. So, watching The Voice last night. CeeLo Green. Glad he's back. Really, I am. Um, but can we just talk about this situation? No, not my hair. Thank you, I know, but grind it out. No, this situation on CeeLo Green, he has some big ass tattoo on his skull. It is a uh, it is very intricate. Um, he hired a bunch of people to paint a Sistine Chapel on his dome. I'm that dome and it dome. Yeah. It's interesting. I was like, wow, that had to hurt. Then I was really thinking discussing it with some cohorts and, and I fucking I just spilled coffee everywhere. Hi. I just spent some time cleaning up coffee. Now where were we? Yes, I'm not even gonna edit it out. Cause I believe in realness on the program. This is my reality show after all. And why would I lie to you guys? Will I lie to you? No. Uh yeah. Oh, still got some coffee on me. Yeah, CeeLo. 16th Chapel. Let us proclaim the tattoo of that. Yeah. Very intricate. Um, you know what I should have done? You should should have rested my coffee cup. Can I just get? Can I? Thank you guys. You're sweet. Be right back. What's left of it? <laughs> yeah. Coffee cup. On. CeeLo's head and then maybe that catastrophe wouldn't have happened because he got a big head so ladies and gentlemen you know what if you want your coffee not to end up on the floor get yourself get yourself a CeeLo Green a CeeLo Green of your very own with the tattoo because you know what I think it makes a cute little doily I want to put it on a cup Maybe put a little like a, a placemat, have some scones, some biscuits. But you know what? I read after all. What? What's that bear? What's that marigold? Oh, it's not real. It's a henna tattoo. Who Christ is averted? Wow! Imagine having that stuck on your skull for the rest of your life. But you know what? It's a great passer of times by. A great time passer, time passer, yeah, that's it. You know what? You get yourself a magic marker and you have yourself a little maze and you find your way out of the maze because it looks like a maze, people. It does. You know what? I gotta do now. Now I gotta post a link to pictures or put a picture of it in the thumbnail of this thing so you know what the poop I'm talking about. That's right. Look how little, look how little coffee I've left. So depressing. I think I'm crazy. Who are you spinning your coffee all over the floor? Ah, 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 I'll be watch yourself. Shame on me. I was just trying to make a cool, you know, fashionista video but like, what's up with that tattoo? And what do I do? I spill coffee all over the place. Epic fail. Epic fail. Epic fail, Scoob. Yeah. So, yeah. But it looks like a maze. It's very interesting. And then you could tattoo the maze the way out of the maze. And you wash off the henna, and then you just have the squiggle, and then you have the map. And then you tattoo the coordinates on how to get to. What am I talking about? Anyways, yeah, it's weird. I'm just trying to make conversation with you people, okay? Don't judge. Hold your coffees close and dear to your hearts because I learned something today about balance. 
and not putting coffee in stupid fucking spots. Oh, I cussed. Sorry about that. Yeah. Oh, still see a splash of coffee. Gotta go take care of that, guys.